Hi, I'm Katie, and welcome to the Evergreen Easel, a contact library for piano book that's based on this Buchla Music Easel here in the Electronic Music Studios at the Evergreen State College. I'm going to walk you through some of the things that this plugin can do because it's actually pretty powerful, even though it's just one voice of this synthesizer. I thought I would record this here in this space so that you can see the actual hardware that was used to sample the instrument. You can download this plugin at pianobook.co.uk. So once we have the Evergreen Easel downloaded, it'll be in a zip archive. So let's really quick unzip this by uh, just double clicking on it. It may take a little bit depending on your system because there are a lot of sample files. Okay, let's open that up. Inside you'll find a couple of folders, images, which has uh, a sample of some photography that I did for this instrument, um, and a getting started uh, PDF. So let's actually take a quick look at that. In here is everything you're going to need to get started, including uh, a detailed description of all the parameters of the plugin. But we're going to actually really quick uh, just dive into that ourselves. Okay, you'll find the plugin in Instruments. This is all the information you're going to need. And then you can even create your own sampled instrument from the samples, either um, in this Evergreen Easel Samples folder or in the uh, Samples Original folder. I'm pretty sure they're the ex just the exact same samples. Let's get into Contact and try this instrument out. If you're used to working in the Library view, you're going to actually have to go into the Files view and then navigate to your desktop or wherever you have this instrument saved and find that uh, folder that you got when you extracted the archive. Inside there will be this folder called Instruments. Let's open that. And there's our, there's our Evergreen Easel NKI. Let's open that. Okay, so now we're looking at the interface. My goal in designing this interface was to make you feel like you're composing in this space with this instrument. You have a monophonic versus polyphonic control here, and this is full monophonic legato. Let's listen to it. And that's kind of nice at first, but it's really fun when you do big, big drastic changes. So let's, uh, let's take a listen to what that sounds like. This is the lowest the instrument can go, up to the highest it can go. I love that. Um, I'm actually using one of Contact's pre-built um, uh, legato scripts for this because legato scripting is actually really, really difficult. Probably um, maybe 20% of this whole project was just getting that uh, monophonic legato to work. Um, you have an envelope control here, so we can change the attack. Or the release, even. I love that. Okay, but the coolest function of this is these pedals. Um, I sampled the instrument not only just dry, but I sampled every single note through each one of these two Moger Foger pedals that are here in this studio. Um, one is called the Freak Box, and the other is called uh, Murph, and it does this, this cool um, evolving texture. And you can change how much of the pedal you're hearing uh, using the pedal mix knob here. This actually crossfades between the dry sample and the sample um, through the pedal. So let's, um, let's adjust that pedal mix knob. By default, it's tied to the modulation wheel. Oh yeah, I love that. Let's listen to what that, that Murph pedal sounds like. Isn't that just, just the most ghostly thing you've ever heard? Oh my goodness. Wow, how haunting. God, I love how haunting that is. 
one of my favorite things to do is to uh, play this instrument polyphonically. Because believe it or not, the Buchla Music Easel um, is a monophonic synthesizer, um, like a lot of modular um, analog synthesizers are. You can actually hear what the Buchla Music Easel would sound like if you could play it polyphonically. And wow, what a cool sound that is. This is my favorite way to play this instrument. One really fun thing to do is to uh, throw the music easel into polyphonic mode. And then to play with the pitch bend and the mod wheel. get some really, really cool shoegazy kind of effects. Or if you uh, throw the plugin into mono mode and do some do some cool performance with the mod wheel on the pitch bend. Okay, so let's let's try something here. Isn't that fun? And then you can also use the polyphonic mode with the Murph pedal and create some really cool textures. Let's bring the attack up. God. So there's a lot you can do with it. This is the first video I've done in a long time, so please forgive my like stumbling. It's actually kind of weird um, doing videos again. But Jesus Christ, isn't that cool? enjoy this plugin. I honestly really love the idea of piano book libraries and this community that creates instruments and gathers sounds for each other. Um, I feel like so many of us concentrate so hard on the marketing side of our art that we honestly forget about the human creative part, you know? Like, we don't make music to make money, you know? We make music because music is beautiful. So make some really cool ass fucking music. Rock on.